We use this anatomage table to help enhance the learning of the students on how each muscle is moving. So sometimes during class, the students uh, will have them uh, come up around this table and have it in a horizontal view so they can all just touch different muscles, different structures along the body here. We can also put it in the vertical where it stands upright while we're teaching to kind of give them a better view as well. So one feature with this cadaver is we can layer him down layer by layer of different systems of the body. So for example, to here. So this is uh, showing a mix of the lymphatic, circulatory, and the nervous system. So all the blue and red you see are the uh, veins and arteries. The white you see is the nerves, and then the yellowish hint is the lymphatic system. And actually a cool feature with this for the circulatory system is we can actually have the heart pump. So it's moving as if he's alive. We also use this to help as a study tool. They can play some study games along with it. So what this one does, it gives you a timer to see how quickly you can get through all of the different structures uh, found in the axial skeleton. Um, and so what it'll do is it'll give you the name of the structure and then you have to find it by clicking on it. So third rib. Um, and then hit confirm and it'll tell you if you were right or wrong and then it'll move on to the next person. The biggest reason we got this machine is to help with student engagement, to really just have students really engage into using this table and learning different structures compared to learning just on the plastic models that we have given them in the past. This also allows them to get a better perspective on things instead of just reading the textbook and learning stuff in lecture and better apply it in lab um, so they can get other views as well as just two-dimensional.